Hey there guys, welcome to another video. You guys wanted to know how to install Mesa.18 on Antergos real quick, so I'm going to show you how. We're going to need to open the terminal. Okay, don't be scared. It's not going to hurt your system if you do something wrong. Alright, because you're not going to be doing anything major that's going to kill any of your major system files. Now, this is what you're going to need to enter. sudo space gedit space slash etc slash pacman.com hit enter this thing is going to pop up change none of this leave it all alone all you want to do is add in this now as you can see there's a certain way that it must be done messagit has to be on top sig level has to be just below and the server has to be at the bottom okay and after you have that you just hit save don't worry, it doesn't bite. I know some people find Linux to be somewhat scary, but it's really simple. So exit out of that, and now we're going to be doing this command. This command is updating just messagit. So hit enter. Your message is going to be different from mine. Yours is going to have to replace the normal Mesa. So just hit yes for everything until it installs. Once it's installed, you're good to go. Open up Simu and run as long as you have Wine Staging installed. If you don't have Wine Staging, that's, well, easy to do. You just hit that. You, you type in this command. Okay, you get rid of the YY. You hit space and you type in Wine-Staging. And you basically install that. Now that takes longer than a second because it's a bigger package, but yeah, now you have Wine installed, so now you can open up uh, Windows.exes. Most of you are not going to need DXVK since you're on Linux just for Simu. Alright, so if you're on a Polaris graphics card, uh, we have to do one more thing. We need LLVM7. Now, LLVM7 or SVN comes with Mesa Git. So we want to install this package, this package, and this package. Once you guys got all of those installed, Polaris graphic cards should run a little bit better. You guys still might have some black texture issues. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know how the world to fix those, but. SCAP knows of the issue and he might know of a solution. We can hope because 1.14 is basically the work in progress. Anyway, guys, that's it. Um, maybe not it. One more thing because most of you are probably going to be on here. You want your applications like OBS, Spotify, uh, and things like that. You're going to need to install Flatpak. Flatpak support is simple. Install that one and that one. All right. You with me so far? Install this. Go to software, which is going to install that, that, and that right there. Now, if you're on KDE, uh, I feel sorry for you, but you're going to want to install this, this, and this, which will install that and that. Okay. But basically, you can install all of this. Just just to let you know. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, actually, we're going to choose that one. Because then you have two software centers. But Discord will be available inside the GNOME software center after you're done. And these two are pretty easy to find. You just type in Discover for the KDE one and uh, Software for the other one. At first startup, it's going to say building Flatpak repository. Okay. You just search Discord, you install it. Spotify. Or whatever else you use. Maybe even emulators. 
So I added that extra little tidbit in there for you just so you guys know how to install standard applications without having to go through a hassle. The atom remove tool will have almost everything you need and you'll never have to really touch terminal. So have a great day guys and enjoy easy Linux. Because Antragos, it's powerful, it's fast, it is stable, and it is one hell of a great operating system all around. Don't forget guys, if you want to support the channel and all I do, we have a Patreon in the description below. Uh, YouTube also has this cool thing where you're able to be a sponsor for someone's channel. Click that join button if you want. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and have a great day. Shilling 101.